morning everybody norma here how are you welcome to your wednesday morning slow flow it is wednesday january 20th uh, if you're joining live welcome if you're going to join at a later time welcome as well so we're going to do a little bit of flows today maybe you can engage our core a little bit for our upper bellies that it is a cold minus seven wintry morning this morning so uh, we're gonna get started in just a minute. A few reminders, practice at your own level. This is the all levels class. I'll be providing options throughout. Um, and just honor your body, what feels right for you this morning um, and do that. Um, remember to take sips of water as you need it, maybe resting at any time. If you feel that you want to take things down or take things up, again, honor your body and go there. So we're gonna start in a seated position this morning. So finding your way there. Uh, I'm sitting on a block, so if you have any tightness in your hips, you may wanna sit on a block or a pillow or a blanket, folded up blanket, um, letting your hips be higher than your knees, just having that uh, more natural tilt to your pelvis. If this doesn't serve your body and you want to lay down and start your posture, your practice there in Shavasana, please do that. So let's begin. So taking these first few breaths to arrive. Make any adjustments that will allow you to settle here and arrive. If you're in a seated posture, maybe that's adjusting your seat to let your sit bones feel like they are grounded on the mat. And if you're in Shavasana, wiggling into any posture that feels right for you this morning. Your gaze can be lowered or eyes can be closed. If you feel like you want some grounding this morning, turn your palms down. If you think you would like to receive some energy, bring your hands with palms face up. So remember, this is your 45 minutes. This is time that you've created for yourself and carved out. So no rush in the world here. We're gonna do some flows, maybe some postures that we haven't done for a bit, but always, with that intention of what serves you best. So if that's maybe doing one flow or no flows or heck, laying in Shavasana or child's pose your whole 45 minutes, you go there. Let's begin to arrive. Can we take an inhale together? Exhale, sigh, let it all go. Let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Can you soften even more? Forgetting about anything that you may have brought with you to your mat, knowing that it's available there if you choose to pick it up after class. And remember, that's your choice. Transitioning your breath now to an inhale through your nose and an exhale through your nose. Just let that slight constriction to the back of your throat, kind of like you're snoring or you're snorkeling. Creating some warmth in your body and your belly now. Do some breath work this morning. We haven't done that in a while just to get ourselves settling here and relaxing our bodies for our practice. So we're going to inhale for four counts. Two, three, four. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. Keep yourself empty for four, three, two, one, let this, do that again, inhaling, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, 
one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, let that, just follow that sequence one more time, inhaling, four, three, two, one, maybe take an extra sip at the top if you can, and hold, four, three, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one, empty, you're holding for four, three, two, one, nice job guys. Returning to a breath now, that may make feel more natural, or maybe you're feeling a little bit more relaxed in your body, or maybe that made you feel un a little bit uneasy if that's the first time that you've done breath work. So with breath work, like anything, just slow and steady. If it's in your practice to set an intention for your class today, you can do so. Don't struggle if nothing comes to mind. Maybe it'll come through the class to you. Some examples may be, I am loved, I am compassionate, I am abundant, I am at peace. One word to put your intention together for your class today and perhaps to bring it forward into your, your journey off your mat today. Nice job, guys. Let's inhale one more time together. Exhale, sigh, let it all go. If you're sitting on a block for a pillow or blanket, can you remove it now? Continuing in our, our cross leg position, can we drop our chin to our chest? Bringing your head up, looking over your right shoulder. And back to center and looking over your left shoulder. And back to center. Taking your right hand beside you, reaching your left arm long. And can we reach over to our right side of the mat, maybe bending into your elbow a little bit, or maybe it's in your practice to plant your palm down and your forearm down. Doing that nice stretch in the side of your left side here. Nice guys, coming back through center, allowing the left hand now to reach the mat, reaching right hand long up and bending over to your left side of the mat now. Bending into that left elbow, still breathing. Going back to center, taking our left hand to our right knee, reaching that right hand back. Maybe you're on your tinted fingers here. Inhaling to prepare and exhaling, twisting your heart open to the right side of your body. Going back to center. Taking right hand to left knee this time. Left hand comes to behind your left side of your body. Your hand can be flat or on tented fingertips. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling, twist yourself open. Heart leading the way to the left side of your mat. Coming back to center. Stretching your legs out long, shaking your legs off. Inhaling long to prepare, exhaling, folding over your legs. Micro bend still remains to your knees. You can reach forward to your ankles or your pant leg. Maybe your toes are accessible. Try not to round out your back. Your heart is lift, leading the way.
Nice job, guys. Letting your legs sh shake off. Transitioning yourself onto all fours now as we transition into our cat-cow posture. So, allowing your belly to drop, your gaze to light, to go upward, tail long behind you, cow. Exhaling, curling belly button to spine like a hell, scary Halloween cat. And shovel through two more of those at your own pace linking breath with movement and offering any authentic movement that your body is craving here. Beautiful guys, coming back to a neutral spine if your toes aren't tucked, can you tuck your toes here? Getting a strong foundation in our tabletop position here. So I said we're gonna fire up our bellies a little bit today, engaging our core. So can you inhale to prepare and exhale? Just cover your knees off the floor, engaging your core, feeling that strength. For five, four, three, two, one, beautiful guys, allowing your knees to come down and maybe just sitting back into a modified child's pose for a moment, reset. And coming back, let's do that again. Toes are tucked, strong foundation near tabletop, engaging your core, pressing belly button to spine as we hover our knees off the floor, making sure we're still breathing here for five, four, three, two, one, nice job. Knees come down, sitting back on our heels. And last time, three's the charm. Making sure your toes are tucked once again. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling, bringing the knees up. Engaging that core, feeling our bodies heat up here for five, four, three, two, one. This time, lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Nice job, guys. So what is your first inversion craving for today? Can you wag your tail? Maybe bending generously into your left knee, encouraging the right heel to the ground. Always still micro bend to that standing leg. And switching, right knees generously bent. Offering our left heel to the ground now. What serves your body here? Maybe it's stillness. Wherever you are, can we inhale together? Exhale, sigh, let it all go. Pour your heart through the opening of your arms, biceps are lining up with your ears. Let's do that again. Bending generously into our knees, can you lift your hips up so your tail's lengthening long behind you before settling in, pouring your heart through. Nice adjustments, guys. Bending your knees, looking to the top of your mat and traveling there, you can take steps, you can take a big step or you can jump if that's in your practice. Inhale, flat back to lengthen. Exhale, folding in. Let's take our heels, toe heel our feet as wide as our mat, bending generously into our knees again, creating ragdoll posture here. Can we just hang here for a moment? Shaking our head yes or no. Or maybe some movement here. Big circles with your arms, like you're stirring a big pot of soup or stew. Lovely on a cold day. Feeling that big, generous bend to your knees, your tummy's having some compressions. Let's go three the other way. Nothing's moving in your hips or your legs. It's just your upper arms stirring this big pot of soup. 
exercise complete, you're laying your hands come down. Heel show your feet back into shoulder distance. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, folding in before rising all the way up. Bringing all of that into your heart center. Let's do that again. Inhaling. Bringing that all the way into your heart. One more time. Inhaling. Bowing over your soft knees. Inhale to lengthen, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, planting your hands, step back to our first vinyasa. So what serves your body? High or low plank, so we're high on our tippy toes, shoulders are stacked over top of our wrists, are you coming down to your knees, honoring your body, chaturanga dandasana, baby push up all the way down to the ground. Inhaling. Baby back bend, just your low cobra to start. Tucking your toes, pushing up through table to downward facing dog. Suri Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A, as we see the sun beginning to creep out this morning. Let's do that one more time. Bending your knees, looking to the top of your mat, and travel there. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, folding in before rising up. And bowing over your soft knees. Inhale to lengthen. Plant your hands, step back in your chaturanga. Honoring your body, high or low plank. Your heart's leading the way as you're shining up. As we're warming up, maybe your cobra's a little bit higher. Tucking your toes, traveling through table or all the way through to downward facing dog. Three breaths to reset. Nice job guys, taking your right leg up behind you. Can you take your right knee to right elbow, curling in, engaging that core a little bit. Once again, three-legged dog. Let's do it again. Inhaling this time, bending in, kissing your nose to your knee, curling in. Back to your three-legged dog. This time, curling all the way in again and stepping or helping your right foot to the top of your mat. So setting our foundation for a crescent lunge here. You can stay here in low crescent lunge, padding up your mat. If that's serving your body, we're coming up, up off your knee to a high crescent lunge, founding, setting your foundation before taking your hands up and your gaze can follow. And you bend generously into your right knee, coming up higher on your tippy toes of your left foot. Pivoting on the toes of your left foot now, opening up to our warrior two. Heel to arch alignment with our warrior two posture. We're still bending generously into that right knee and our tail is tucked. Our arms are softening like wings, letting our shoulders settle here. Gaze this over your right middle finger. Flipping your palm, reaching up and back. Exalt your warrior. Nothing's changing in your front knee. Nice job, guys. Coming back through warrior two. Let's do that again. Flipping your palm, reverse your warrior. Thank you, movement for a breath, warrior two. One more time, exalt your warrior. A little bit of flow there. Coming back through warrior two, bending at the right elbow, coming down, letting that elbow rest on your right knee without sinking in. Can we take our hand up and our gaze to follow for our side angle pose? So building on that fire in your belly and our movement practice today, you can stay here or maybe you invite some circles 
with that arm, letting your gaze follow. Coming back, once three are complete. Letting hands come down, windshield around your right foot, pivoting on your back toes. Can we take our left foot to meet right and sit back in our chair? A little curveball there this morning. So again, engaging that core, fighting that fire into our bellies for five, four, three, two, one, letting it all go. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. And now we're gonna rinse it out with your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. I'm gonna just change my posture so you can see me. Three breaths here to reset. a sip of water. And we'll continue on the second side. Can you take your left leg up behind you? Bending your knee, trying to touch your left knee to left elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Curling in, trying to touch your nose to your knee. And coming back through three-legged dog. One more time, curling in to center. Curl, curl, curl as you step your left foot through or help it to the top of your mat. So setting your foundation, once again, high or low, crescent lunge. Making sure your hips are squared forward and breathing up. generously into your left knee. Can we come higher off the toes of our right foot? Nice adjustment, guys. Long line from that left, right heel, right through to our hands. Nice job, guys. Coming on your left foot now, coming through to warrior two, second side. So again, heel to arch alignment, making any adjustments for bending into your left knee. Allowing your arms to soften, shoulders come down your back. Warrior two. Flipping your left palm, reach it up and back, exalt your warrior. Squeezing in those dance step, back through warrior two, and exalt. One more time, warrior two, and exalt. Nice job, guys. Coming back through warrior two as we prepare for our side angle on second side, bending into our left elbow, coming down onto our left knee without falling in, tail is still stuck, can you come into your side angle? And if you did the circles on the last side, please go there now. So letting your hand come through a big, big, big circle, slower than you want to, allowing your gaze to follow. Finishing up your last circle if you're going there. Before coming back, through your side angle. For two breaths. For allowing your hands to come down to frame your left foot, pivoting on your right toes. This time you know where we're going, stepping right foot all the way through and sitting back in your chair. One long line from your tail to your head for five, four, Three, 
two, one, let it all go. Holding in, half lift, plant your hands, step back, and rinse it out with our final. Yeah, if you head over to L&D, Three breaths okay. there to reset. Okay. Sorry, I'm in the meeting room and I didn't realize the radio was so loud, so hopefully that didn't uh, interrupt your pace. So three breaths in your down dog. Bending your knees, looking to the top of your mat and traveling there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding in for rising up. Clasping our fingers here at the top. So clasping your fingers, letting your index fingers point up to the sky. Can you inhale to lengthen? Exhale, bending over to your left side. Want to balance, challenge your balance a little bit here this morning. You can transfer your weight into your right leg and maybe come up on your tippy toes of your left foot or maybe your left foot comes up. Changing nothing in your breath or that side stretch. Even if it's just for a moment. If your foot is elevated, letting it come down. Letting your hands come down and shaking it all off. Second side, inhaling, changing the clasp of your hands this time. Feels a little bit different. Inhaling to lengthen your finger, pointer fingers are facing up. Can you exhale, coming over to the left side of your mat now. Feeling that nice stretch and breath into that right side of your body. And if you want to challenge your posture here, transfer the weight over to your left foot now, left standing leg. Maybe your right tippy toes come up. Or maybe you want to fly a little bit here, you know, just for a moment, challenging your balance. Not losing your breath. Your foot is elevated, letting it come down, breathing hands back to center, and shaking it all off. Inhaling, exhaling, bowing over your soft knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. You can flow out if you want to add another vinyasa there. Um, alternatively, we can settle back into our child's pose. So knees can be wide, encouraging your hips to find your heels or as close as they come. Maybe you want to open your palms up. You want to still receive more energy or your hands can be grounded here on your mat, stretching along in front of you. Can we settle here for 10 breaths? So in these moments of stillness, can we let that breath soothe our body, settle our heart rate a little bit of that standing series, and just let yourself be anything that you want to be here. Maybe if you set that intention, maybe that comes back to your mind. And at these times when we're holding postures for a little bit longer, sometimes our mind begins to wander and that's okay. Just bring your attention back to your breath. Acknowledge that thought, no judgment. And can you come back to reset? Focusing in on 
on your breath. Maybe feeling an area that may be stuck or tight. Can you send breath there and soften even more? Five more breaths. That's a long time breath, isn't it? Inhale together. Sigh, open your mouth, let it all go. Nice job, guys. Letting your legs fall along behind you as we come down onto our bellies. We take our right re resetting here. Just sitting in our sphinx pose just for a moment. So our hands are long, our elbows are stacked on top of our shoulders. And just a few breaths here to settle in our sphinx posture. If this is feeling any tightness in your back, just allow yourself to come down a little bit. And yourself come all the way down now, stretching right hands long to your side like a T, taking your fingers by your forehead, they're just off the edge of your mat, coming up on your tented fingers. Can you bend at the left knee, pushing yourself up and through as we would with uh, our cobra, and taking your left foot all the way behind you, staying up on your tented fingers. So that right arm is out like a T. Allowing your ear and your forehead to soften here. To our extended wing posture. If you want to get deeper in the stretch and you have no issues going through your shoulders, you can Finger, take your fingers a little bit forward, getting a little deeper into that shoulder. Letting yourself fall back over, your legs come down, taking your hands back by your shoulders, letting your left ear come to the mat. And we'll transition to second side. So foreheads now again on your mat, extending your left leg, arm like a T out to the side. Coming up on your tented fingers of your right hand now. Fingers are off the mat. Breathing up through your cobra, bending at your right knee and letting that right foot step all the way back. Extending second side. So again, letting your fingers come up if you wanna engage that stretch a little deeper into your shoulder only if there's nothing going on there. Allowing yourself to soften here. Not holding on to anything. Letting our right knee come back down, untwisting, 
taking our hands back to our shoulder, under our shoulders, and this time engaging our right ear to the mat. Nice, guys. Letting yourself come up through your sphinx again. So your elbows are stacked on underneath your shoulders. Fingers are splayed out wide. Can we lengthen our toenails long behind us? And again, if this is too high, coming down, not wanting to cause any issues in your back. Can we take our left arm and have it like the figure four across the top of our mat. And you take your right heel up towards bending at the knee. And can you take your right hand and reach long behind you, reaching for the inner aspect of your right foot. And if you can't quite make it there, reaching onto your pant leg or whatever is accessible, your ankle, or if you have a strap handy, pulling gently, engaging your right hand to gently pull your foot, your heel towards your glutes here. You're still facing forward. Making sure we're not clenching anywhere here to our half bow posture. Feeling that nice stretch in the front of our right leg. Letting your right hand go without flinging your foot, bringing yourself back, and maybe just wagging yourself from side to side to reset. Second side. So taking your right elbow, bending it, your right hand comes along on your mat in front of you, like the figure four here. This time bending your left knee, looking back, reaching for whatever's accessible here, the inside of your left foot, or maybe it's your pant leg or your ankle. Bring yourself back forward. So if it's in your posture to do full bow pose, you can go there. Just making sure that you feel equal on both sides. And guys, if your foot's not accessible, that's okay on your body. and one side can be completely different than the other. Awareness, never judgment. Gently letting your left foot go, letting your right hand come down, and just shaking your hips from side to side to reset. Nice job, guys. Let's bend up through child's pose to reset, just for five breaths, letting anything go that may have come up. Ready. We're going to transition onto our seat and come all the way down to our mats. Nice job, guys. A few different postures today that we haven't done in a while. Thank you for being open to try new things. Taking our feet as wide as our mat, toes are facing out. Can we let our knees just come in? For a moment, hands can be by your side. And can we start windshield wiping our knees from side to side? Slow and steady. When your knees fall to the right, can you leave them there? 
and maybe engaging yourself into any twist that you feel good in. So your knees can be here, or maybe you hook your right foot over left knee. And can you gently take your gaze over your left shoulder here? Breathing your knees back up, letting right foot come down. Starting your windshield wipers once again to reset your spine from your twist. And next time your knees fall to the left, can you leave them there? Coming into your favorite twist once again. Your knees can be Fall into the left side of your body, or maybe you want to get a little bit deeper, taking that left heel over the right knee, and once again, gazes over your right shoulder, or eyes can be closed. to end your practice and they also let us wring out our bodies Letting your knees come up, left foot meets right, and just a few more windshield wipers from side to side. Before bringing knees up into your chest and letting your feet come up to the ceiling, feet are flexed, arms are at the side like a T. And can you pump your feet? Legs up the wall. Great posture for adding a little bit of a detox to our practice, especially after that twist. Letting the lymphatic system drain away. Anything that might have been pooling into your extremities. Shaking your legs off before coming back to stillness. Letting your knees come in. Maybe coming up and hugging yourself. Thank yourself for your practice, for, for taking your legs out long and finding that beautiful spot for you to settle into our final posture here, our Shavasana. Maybe tucking your shoulders in, lifting your heart or cactus arms. What feels good in your body? to enjoy these last few minutes of class, knowing that I will be here to bring you back when the time is right.
May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries. May the breeze blow new strength into your being. May you walk gently through the world and know its beauty all the days of your life. bringing your awareness back. If you have the opportunity to stay in Shavasana, please do so. If you need to start your day, slowly beginning to wake up your body, encouraging small movements to your wrists and your ankles, maybe taking right ear to the mat, to your right shoulder, and back center, and your left ear noticing any changes that your practice may have been bringing to your body and your neck since we did that at the beginning of class. Taking your arms long like you're waking up from a big nap. Can you bring your knees into your chest? Again, giving yourself a little hug and thanking yourself for your practice before turning over to one side or the other, whichever is calling you, and meeting at the top of your mat. Bringing hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, taking your thumbs to your chest, bowing your chin. Gaze can be lowered or eyes can be closed if that feels okay. Just taking this last breath to notice any changes that your practice may have brought to your body, your mind. thanking yourself for carving out this time and making this community every Wednesday morning or whenever you're choosing to, to participate. Know that the love and the light in my heart bows to the love and the light in your heart. Namaste, friends. Thanks for joining. If you're joining in next week, if you have a yoga strap, please have that handy. Um, if not, uh, a bathrobe uh, tie or even ties if there's in the home. Uh, so we're gonna do just uh, a little bit more of a, a yin practice at the end next week uh, to get deeper into our hips. So thanks for joining and uh, hope to see you then. Have a beautiful day. Stay warm.